Excuse us. Uh, um, we... I'm Captain Matthews. My name is Shion Uzuki, and I'm from Vector Industries' first R&D division. And this is my co-worker, Alan Ridgely, who also works in the same division. We do apologize for all the trouble our errant cosmos may have caused you. Come on, Alan. Show them your gratitude. Uh, right. Thank heavens you were around to rescue us. We almost became space dust out there because of my stubborn boss here. <laughs> ah! You ought to save your thanks for chaos over there. We were just gonna leave you and fly on out of here. Oh, I see. Thank you, Chaos. No, don't mention it. After all, we all need a little help sometimes. Yeah. He often saves our hides too. So, we can't turn him down when he asks for a favor. I see. That reminds me. Hey, Cosmos. And just what do you think you're doing? You left us and then tried to go to Second Milsia by yourself. Maybe your OS is malfunctioning or something. Yes, that is possible. By the way, what were the orders from HQ? Captain Matthews, may I use the maintenance lab next to the hangar? Just a second, Cosmos. Yeah, sure. What for? Cosmos? Due to the limitations of the test juice condenser, my energy reserves are almost depleted. I wish to receive a co-generator bypass in order to replenish them. Hey! What is wrong with you? Answer me, Cosmos! So, you'll cover the bill, right? Yes. Cosmos! Uh, yes? My sensors appear to be malfunctioning. Please adjust them before we disembark at our destination. Wh why should I? Please, Xian. This is part of your job, is it not? <sighs> I'm terribly sorry. The girl is just so stubborn. I do apologize for all the trouble she's causing. It's all right, I'm actually enjoying it. This ship's much livelier with more crew members. You got that right. We can always use some more women around here. How about it? Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? What? Hey! Uh huh? Uh, sure. All right, that's enough, Tony. Never mind her, at least she's a real girl. The other one's not even human, she's battle weaponry. You think so, huh? She appears to be just like any other human to me. Captain, any chance of stopping at Zanir? Hmm? That's en route on the column. Three or so days from Italia. If that's your destination, sure, I can do that. I see. And the fee? Today just ain't my day, and getting greedy now won't do me any good. I'll just put it on the tab. I appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. You're a Marine. Let's just chalk it up to my bit of charity for the Corps. Still lurking around. Ah, it's coming in! Son of a bitch!
just do? Well, that's what I meant when I said he looks out for us. Looks out for you? How did he just do that? I've never heard of a human that can defeat Gnosis. There are those who draw well, and those who run fast. Hammer's navigational skills are top-notch, and his knowledge of the net is vast. Tony's helmsmanship skills are unrivaled. No one even comes close. Or so he claims. The captain? Well, no one holds a greater amount of debt than the captain. Ah, yes. Hey, wait a second. I believe everyone has at least one skill that they excel in over all others. It's something that defines who they are. Xion, what is it that defines you? Huh? Me? Well, I... It's the same for me. It's just something I can do. Yep, that's all there is to it. Ah. I see. Right. I think I get it. It sort of makes sense when you put it that way. Yep, that's how it is. That's all that... What the... How can you be convinced by that? That was a Gnosis, Chief. A Gnosis! Well, Captain, we'd better head for our destination before she throws us off the ship. The girl seems to be a stickler for schedules and all. Man, oh man. So much for my grandiose plans. After this job, I was supposed to pay off my debts, then head to Keltia to see the Seraphim Sisters live in concert. Bah, you owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. And man, the Seraphim Sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Captain, you don't actually have to go all the way out to Keltia. Why don't you just connect to the UMN and watch it later? You moron. Getting a visual feed is nothing compared to immersing yourself in the real thing. There's a world of difference between the two. It's all about reality. Who are you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. Why, you... Hurry up and take us out of here. All right. Roger that. Well then, I'll take Xion and the others to their rooms. That's very kind of you. All right, you do that. Damn! Today's been one hell of a day. Master Wilhelm, I have a report from Cosmos. Xian Uzuki and Alan Ridgely have both joined up with Cosmos. I see. This is fortunate. Especially since there's an unidentified ship closing in on the battlefield. And if the ship were to threaten the girl, Cosmos would protect her. Is that not right? Yes. That would be the prime directive. Either way, it was a wise decision to pull back Cosmos. There's no need for us to continue serving them or the Federation any longer. Besides, the data for the Rhine Maiden is now complete. All phenomena are moving forward as specified by this compass of order. As for the rest... Gather the necessary factors and wait for the other one to awaken. What's one and a half billion people to us? Their innocence. Surely they deserve more respect. Respect? For what? Save your philanthropy for someone that cares. The experiment may have been a failure, but I've taken steps to recover the emulator. 
If the need arises, I'm not against using the original either. All we have to do is repeat the process until we get results. Is this all too much for your conscience to bear, Pellegrin? In that case, feel free to reveal everything and wait for your death sentence. What about you? Me tried in a court of ignoble commoners? Don't make me laugh. We are the ones who determine life or death. But wait. Pellegrin, are you telling me that you've forgotten everything we've been striving for these past 14 years? Commander Margulis. What? A message from Lieutenant Commander Vanderkam, sole survivor of the Vanguard Force. The unit was decimated. The Zohar emulator unsecured. Where's the Zohar now? Location unknown. Possibly seized by the Gnosis. I see. Notify the 474th Spec Ops Fleet. We may need to implement Plan 31. Have them stand by in the specified coordinates for further orders. Yes, sir. So, what can you tell us about this man? He was a special forces agent with the Federation Police, a counter-terrorism specialist. Of course, that was over a hundred years ago. Now he's a cyborg working freelance missions. A cyborg? How anachronistic. He's a relic from the days when they reanimated the dead. They didn't have disposable realians like we do now. Well, he's certainly got quite a resume. Rumor has it, he deliberately seeks out missions with low odds of success. Is he insane, or just fascinated with death? Well, he's been given a clean bill of mental health. It doesn't look like he does it for the killing. Humph. Advances in science have placed thousands of drugs on our shelves. And yet, we still let psychiatrists wield their influence over us. They use these assessments to validate their existence. I don't believe them one bit. Well, he's got an extremely high success rate. I think he'll be fine. Sir, he's here. Show him in. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Ziggurat 8, isn't it? Upon your death in TC 4667, you donated your body and chose to become a product of Ziggurat Industries. That's correct. Have you heard about the mission? No. Recently, we received information that a certain armed group has shown signs of resurgence. This same group was responsible for the events that took place 14 years ago. The UTIC organization? That's right. The information we've received from our independent sources has helped to identify the location of the UTIC organization's hideout. This structure was originally a shrine for some long-lost ancient religion. It was eventually abandoned and remained uninhabited for centuries. So? You want me to infiltrate and collect information on the group? If that was all we needed, we would have left it to our intelligence agency. Actually, to put it simply, we need you to rescue someone and return her to her rightful place. And technically, she's not human. Just tell me what I need to know. <laughs> A child? Is she a civilian? She's a Realian. A 100 series Realian. You've heard of them? The 100 series observational Realians. Built specifically to combat the Gnosis. I've heard rumors of them. But I didn't know they were disguised as children. Is this the first time you've seen the real thing? Yes. But isn't Vector already mass producing them? This is a prototype. 
It will serve as the model for all future 100 series observational units. So, what you're telling me is that securing this little girl takes priority over all else, right? It helps that you're a quick study. So, will you take the mission? A cyborg has no rights. I cannot refuse your request. I will analyze the situation and let you know what weapons and resources I need. I don't mean to demand any compensation, but may I make one request? Go ahead. After my return, I ask that you eliminate the neural memories residing in my brain from my previous life. That's not a problem. But it could be a difficult procedure with a body as outdated as yours. Add as many synthetic parts as necessary. What an odd request. These days, realians are clamoring for human rights. But here's a man who wants to become a machine. All right, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you. You can get the specifics from her, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi, later. Well, well. He didn't die in the line of duty. It says here he committed suicide. One shot in the head from his beloved pistol. Did you say suicide? Can we entrust the 100 series to that man? What if his self-destructive tendencies arise? Not to worry. He's been equipped with a safety mechanism which prevents him from hurting himself or abandoning his mission. He was brought back to life against his will. Once he replaces the rest of his brain with synthetics, he'll be a complete machine. Only then will he be legally dead.